Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at OSPF passive interfaces, uh, how to use them, and, and why you would require them. So let's say you have an internal network. You have two routers running OSPF. There's probably more than that in your environment, but nonetheless. So in this example, we got two routers. Uh, they happen to be ICX 6610s. Um, they're in OSPF area 0, and they have a 10 subnet between them, 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2 on port 131 on both sides, right? Then let's say you want to connect a partner network or a service provider or you've made an acquisition and you want to make a connection into that that new network and you want to advertise that network. So in this case it's 11000 slash 24. Uh, we want to advertise the 11 subnet into the rest of the network via OSPF. But what we don't want to happen is we don't want uh, this interface to make an OSPF neighbor relationship with anything out here in this other network, right? And so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put OSPF on this interface because I want OSPF to I want this this network to be injected into OSPF. Um, but I don't want to create a neighbor relationship. So the obviously the other way to do that is to redistribute connected. Um, however, you know, redistribution comes with its own set of issues, and so I don't want to do that. I want to have it dynamically um, inserted into OSPF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take port 133 here on router 1 and uh, turn on IP OSPF passive, which just says put that interface in OSPF, however, don't try to establish a neighbor relationship, right? So, so don't actively... Uh, send out hellos and establish a neighbor relationship. So uh, we will have a look at uh, here's router one here. So if I look at router one, show IP OSPF neighbor. So I have a neighbor relationship to 10002 on the other side, right? Um, and so that is an active neighbor relationship. Um, but so the the interface I want to add is 11, right? So if I look at my running config here. Uh, on port 133, I have an IP address 11.0.0.1 slash 24 on that interface, right? So that's the other network. Um, and so I want to put that into OSPF. So uh, if I go into that interface, interface E1 slash 3 slash 3, and do an IP OSPF area 0, right the problem i'm going to run into is it's going to send hellos out that interface and it's going to try to establish a neighbor relationship with anyone out there um, and because our ospf is broadcast by default it's going to send out multicast say hello anybody out there let's neighbor so if i do a show ip ospf neighbor now i have created a neighbor relationship out uh, my 11001 interface which is what i did not want to happen so, and if we hop over to router 2 here, our other internal router, um, if I do a show IP route, not only am I getting that 11 network, which is what I was trying to achieve, but I'm also receiving other networks. So I'm receiving this 4.4.4.4 slash 32 uh, uh, from, that, from that interface on router 1, which is what I don't want to happen. So maybe that's a management network or a loopback or or whatever it is, but I don't want to learn all the routes from my neighbor. Um, and those might be overlapping IP subnets with what I have internally, and that's uh, that's going to be a negative as well. So what we want to do is go back to router 1, and on that interface, um, we go into interface E1 slash 3 slash 3, and um, do an IP OSPF passive, Okay, and so that is going to put that interface into passive mode. So it's still, uh, if we look at the running config, that interface you will see is still in area zero, but it's now in passive mode. So if I do a show IP OSPF neighbor, I no longer have that other neighbor, right? That 11002 was my other neighbor. So that is now gone. Um, and so if I hop over to router 2 again, do a show IP route again, 
Okay, so I still have the 11 route, so that's still being injected via OSPF, right? It's not a redistribute connect, uh, connected or static or anything like that. Um, I'm learning it via OSPF, so it's dynamically learned, and yet I'm no longer learning that 4.4.4 slash 32 um, because I don't have that neighbor relationship, so I'm not learning other routes from that other external partner. Um, okay, so that's it. Fairly straightforward. Um, this is used fairly commonly, um, can be used on multiple interfaces, um, and that's it. Okay, so thanks for joining, and take